Welcome to a Stormtrooper comparison of, kind of what do you want to wash your Stormtroopers with. So here's the idea. When painting Stormtroopers, the general consensus is priming them white, you know, would look nice because we know white Stormtrooper armor, I mean, Stormtrooper armor is white. However, you can see, and I've got some really bright studio lights on here, but you can see that it's way too bright and shiny. And so that's not going to look good on the tabletop, even if Stormtrooper armor really is that bright white color. And so what you have to do is you have to give it a little bit of artificial shading, because you can see there really isn't enough natural shading from just the lighting in the room. So what I've done is I've painted these five Stormtroopers just with the, each of these five products. So they're all undercoated with Army Painter Matte White Spray. That's this bright white here. This is untouched after that. And then I've just done a single coat of all these other five things. So here we go. Here's the Soul Blight Gray. This is a shade from Citadel. And you really got to stir this up because it's got that white that sinks to the bottom. Takes a couple of minutes to shake if you uh, get it all the way incorporated. But here what you can see is that we're giving a little bit of definition to the Stormtrooper's armor. So like these little dots in here, for example, you can actually see those little dots on the arms, which is kind of, I think, an like, iconic Stormtrooper thing. You can't see it so well on this one that hasn't been shaded. The other thing is just kind of like the um, different patterns and textures on some of the joints and the belt, and especially this, I think that's another iconic piece of the Stormtroopers, this little piece on his back with the, almost looks like 011 on there. And so you want to wash this with something, just to bring out those details. If you want to, some of these flatter areas you can dry brush off, and I haven't done it yet because I wanted to show you the raw colors, but that's going to be the next step is I'm going to take a dry brush and brush it down the model just ever so lightly so then we get that directional shading as if it's an actual shadow. But let's take a look here because Soul Blight Gray is this shade. I know before that was released, not that long ago, Apothecary White was kind of the standard, and so I want to kind of say, all right, what's the difference here? And honestly, this is so weird, but they're basically the same paint with just a little bit of a hue difference. So you see this apothecary white ever so slightly, maybe a bluer gray, and this is just more of a gray gray. So which one do you like better for your stormtroopers? I think these are kind of two maybe obvious choices. You also notice that, weirdly, the shade goes on heavier in one coat than the Apothecary White. Now, you of course can do multiple coats if you like, but that's up to you. Here's the other contender from the Army Painter. We have the Army Painter Speed Paint Holy White. And you'll notice here we're back to that more gray than blue. And it's going to actually be very similar to the Soul Blight Gray. So here's Soul Blight Gray, here's the Army Painter Holy White. Should say on the bottom APHW, yep. So that's interesting. Very, very similar. So I really like this Army Painter Holy White for Stormtroopers. Uh, I'll spoiler, that's the sort of winning color for me, except I have two like really dark shades over here that I just kind of really want to show you. So actually we're going to do this one last. Citadel Null Noil. Here we go. Citadel Null Noil. Something you notice with this Stormtrooper is again, very nice definition on there. A little bit darker in those deep recesses but still quite clean. And you could even probably do just a little bit better brush job than I have to make this even cleaner. 
the other thing you'll notice is compared to like um let's compare it to the holy white first compared to the holy white the armor is staying whiter and the recesses are getting darker this with just the null oil on it actually looks more like a stormtrooper than any of the other options as far as if i wanted to really have like a hundred of these guys around this is not a bad idea at all. A little bit of white dry brush maybe over it, or, or correct some of this pooling on the flat areas, and uh, you might have just a really nice thing here. The next step, by the way, on this guy is you're dry brushing, and then the areas kind of in the joints, kind of where this guy's got some natural um, settling, you want to put those joints like a dark black, because that's just how stormtroopers look. But that's why I think this one looks more like a Stormtrooper than this one. So, definitely a speedy speed painting option here. Well, because Null Oil and Dark Tone are so similar, I decided to give them a little, little run here. And I want to show you a couple of things. One is the phenomenon of, uh, this was really on the back of this guy. It was really pooling up almost like a you put water on like a water resistant thing, you can't get it to spread evenly, it kind of pools up. I don't know if I should have tried a different primer with this or what. Typically I put my dark tone over like a um, actual colored base. But notice his deep recesses are decently darker. Still, this guy looks more like a stormtrooper with that, there's that null oil, but the dark tone guy doesn't look too bad. It's a little bit more of a brown. Uh, so I don't think this is really quite what we're looking for. This guy is going to definitely get re-primed and painted, but that's okay. I wasn't honestly expecting much of the dark tone. So I was pleasantly surprised with the null oil, and if I had 100 stormtroopers to paint, I would probably be null oiling a lot of them, maybe a little bit of dry brush on them, and basically calling them done. I'm not going to get too fussy over here. I might do another coat in some of the deep recesses, but honestly, you know, hmm, don't know. For a little bit better Stormtrooper, you know, we'll keep going with this guy. So we'll try that here. The other thing that you will want to do is black out the entire blaster. So, of course, I haven't done that yet, but we will black that out. Probably going to use Black Legion for that. I've had really good luck with that. So probably do that. But there you go. There are your Stormtroopers. So, I am working on uh, finishing up a painting video for these. So now that I've filmed them in the raw, they're getting painted. We're going to put together a remaining of uh, how would I finish this guy off from the Null Oil versus how I'd finish off either or any of these, really, uh, with the Holy White. So I'll probably do a couple different stages on there. I want to show you that whole process. And, of course, we've got these guys back here to paint, which is the, the control group. I'm going to take a moment before I... Close down the video to just put the Null Oil against the Soul Blight Gray, just so you can see that, and against the Apothecary White, and against the Holy White, just so you can see those differences. And in case you're curious on the, the dark tone as well, it is more of a brown. It's a really dark brown. I really wish it was a black sometimes. But um, this is really, the Stormtroopers is the first time that I really, really, really thought that. And um, I'm usually okay that it's a little bit of brown because most of what I paint, oh, it's just a little dirty, you know. A little bit of brown's not going to hurt anybody. Versus Stormtroopers are very clean most of the time. All right, well, I hope this was helpful in choosing a shade for your Stormtroopers. And I look forward to finishing these all up with you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Let's get gaming.